Welcome to my JavaScript to C Sharp tutorial. The reason I'm making this video is because when I learned C Sharp from already knowing JavaScript is I had to go through a lot of videos about things I already knew but I needed to convert from JavaScript to C Sharp. And so they were talking about what variables were, what functions were, etc. And I already knew that. So that's why I'm making this video. So diving into it, I'll make a C-sharp script. And the first thing you need to know is if you rename the script, you have to rename the class because these names have to be the same. So I'll rename that. Just rename this tutorial and you'll see they don't automatically change so when I open this up the first thing I have to do is change that name or else it'll just give me a bunch of compiler errors and the second thing is everything you write will be inside this public class I know in JavaScript you this doesn't even exist you can completely start you know blank but everything you write will be inside the public class so that being said going into variables in javascript putting an integer would be like var number type int equals one in C sharp, it's just int number equals one. The only thing is, if you want to be able to see it in the editor and change it based on just from the editor and not in the script, you have to make it public. So I'm gonna just undo that real quick so I can actually run this script put it on there and it's public so you can see it and change it in the editor but if we take that away and just make it int after it loads it'll take it away okay so you want that to be public if you want it in the int if you want it in the editor and also just like JavaScript if you want to access it from another script you want to make it static so it would be public static int number equals one. Float be like number whatever type float equals 1.0. In C sharp, public float number uh, equals 1.0. Okay, that F is very important no matter what you're doing in C sharp. If you have a float, you have to put the F at the end. Um, okay, so Boolean B um, history type Boolean equals false. In C sharp, it'd be public bool. Uh, is true equals false. Okay, so you don't type out boolean, you just type out bool, and that's pretty much it for variables. So going into functions, instead of function start, instead of that, it's void start. Okay void update, void start, void on GUI, etc. If you want to make a custom function, it's still void. Um, the only difference is in C sharp, you can't do a yield wait for seconds in a custom void. If you want to do a yield wait for seconds, you have to make an I enumerator. So it'd be I enumerator and then whatever your custom name is. And when you call that, if it was just 
if it was just void and you didn't care about waiting for seconds whatever it's just like just like javascript you just call it like that okay but if it is an i enumerator this completely changes you have to make it start coroutine custom just like that so you have to make it start coroutine and another thing is in javascript it's just yield wait for seconds whatever one two three whatever you want in c sharp it's yield return new wait for seconds okay and yeah so you have to call it by starting coroutine then calling the function and it has to be an i enumerator to do yield return new wait for seconds okay and um really the only other thing i can think of is the gui and the gui is in javascript it let's see uh, we'll make a button that's not clickable but a button nonetheless in JavaScript, JavaScript, it would just be rect uh, GUI dot button rect 100 100 uh, button. In C sharp, it's new rect, and that's the only difference between JavaScript and C sharp and the GUI. You have to type new. I don't know why. You just have to type new. And then it'll work. And if we play that in the editor, there we go. We got ourselves a button. <clears throat> and that's pretty much it. So, just a quick run through again variables, making to make an integer, it would be int number equals one. That's it. Make a float, float number one equals 1.0f. Boolean is it is it true equals false. Function is now void void start and to have a yield wait for seconds it has to be an i enumerator and to call that you just do start coroutine custom and that's pretty much it one one thing uh, I will note. Oh, and of course the names have to be the same. That's pretty much it. <clears throat> one thing I will note is Mono Develop seems to be more keen for C sharp in the sense that if I do void start, if I did this. Say I did I don't know, um, whatever int number equals one, and if I tap over a mess, a mess of a lot, if I hit the end button, it'll automatically end where this one starts. So. It doesn't matter where I am, if I'm over here, it'll end there. It knows where it started, and it knows to try to keep it the same, which I think is pretty cool, but, and I think it's worth noting. So, those are pretty much the main differences. If you have any questions, you can leave 
comment below or message me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, and if you if you'd like me to make a tutorial on learning C sharp from scratch, I can do that. If you'd like to see other tutorials, let me know. Thanks.